Dr. Dan Dishman performs a revolutionary procedure that he mastered a few months ago. He is unblocking clogged arteries in this patient's left leg. Without it, the answer may be amputation. With this technology, uh, you're allowed to see inside the vessel, which allows you to, to know where you're going, what you're doing, and it takes the guesswork away. I'm ready to go on with that. PAD, or peripheral artery disease, is a circulation problem where the blood flow is reduced or cut off in the limbs, often going unnoticed until amputation is the only option. But after dime-sized holes, the outpatient procedure is over in about 45 minutes. Methodist South in Whitehaven is the only hospital in the Mid-South with this technology. So what I'm doing for them is number one, I'm alleviating them of the pain that they're having. Uh, number two, I'm very likely preserving their leg, their foot, or their toes. And number three, long term, I'm very likely adding years to their life. Well, the technology that Dr. Dishman uh, is working with now um, is a catheter that opens up the arteries and but has a small camera on the end of the catheter so that the, uh, Dr. Dishman can see what he's doing inside the artery while he's working on the artery. Dr. John Simpson, an expert in PAD and the inventor of this new technology, says the disease is considered a silent killer because symptoms can resemble general signs of aging. A quick test is all you need to rule out this destructive disease. There's some really simple tests. Uh, the patients can simply have a blood pressure measured in their arm and in their ankle. When those are compared, if they're not the same, then that patient has PAD. What does their research mean in the bigger picture of global health care? I really strongly believe that if you save somebody from an amputation or even bypass surgery uh, frequently in their legs, this can be difficult. If you save a patient from that, just with a catheter, just because it has a camera on it, that that's really spectacular. Merle Purvis, Fox 13 News.